Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Welcome to Minutes to Paradise. Nafs in Islam. In Islam, the concept of nafs plays a significant role in understanding human behavior, spirituality, and the path to self-improvement. The Quran and Hadith provide guidance on how to understand and manage the different aspects of the nafs. Nafs Amara, the commanding self. This aspect of the self is characterized by its inclination towards evil, selfish deserts, and base instincts. It often leads individuals to commit sins and indulge in wrongful behavior. The Quran refers to this aspect in Surah Yusuf, chapter 12, verse 53, when Prophet Yusuf, Joseph, peace be upon him, says, and I do not acquit myself. Indeed, the soul is a persistent enjoiner of evil, except those upon which my Lord has mercy. Nafs Lawama, the self-reproaching self. This level of the self is aware of its own faults and sins. It feels remorse and guilt for wrong actions and seeks to rectify them. The Quran mentions this aspect in Surah Al-Qiyamah, chapter 75, verse 2, and I swear by the reproaching soul to the certainty of resurrection. Nafs Mutma'inna, the satisfied self. This is the highest level of the self, characterized by inner peace, contentment, and submission to the will of Allah. The Quran describes this state in Surah Al-Fajr, chapter 89, verse 27 to 30. O reassured soul, return to your Lord, well pleased and pleasing to Him. Striving for self-improvement. Islam teaches that individuals should strive to purify their nafs, moving from the lower, more base aspects to the higher, more spiritual levels. This process, known as tazkiya, involves self-awareness, self-discipline, and adherence to Islamic teachings. Practical Steps Muslims are encouraged to engage in acts of worship, such as prayer, fasting, and charity, to purify their nafs. They are also advised to avoid sinful behaviors and to seek forgiveness for their mistakes. Overall, the concept of nafs in Islam is a complex and nuanced one, highlighting the importance of self-awareness, self-control, and spiritual growth in the life of a believer.